Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video, and it's been quite a while, I know, I'm sorry. Today I'm back at you with another, a kind of a different sort of video, something I kind of want to do a bit more of on the channel actually, kind of where I'm wanting to aim it. I am going to be telling you guys a bit, oh, a few stories about some of the things I've come across on public transport. So I've nearly had my license for a year. So almost a year ago, I gained my driver's license, which means I could drive around and it was like freedom galore. And it was great, it's great. Being able to go wherever I want, it's been great for school, social life, work life, travel life, everything. It's just been great, it's been a blessing in disguise. It made me appreciate having my license so much when I have had to catch the bus in the last year um, due to, you know, car being serviced, and you know whatever extraneous factors came into play that made meant that I had to catch the bus it makes me made me appreciate it a lot more so today I'm going to be kind of mocking um, a few scenarios that I came across when I caught public transport in the past so yeah without further ado let's get straight on into the video so one that sticks out to me, and the funny thing is that it's happened twice. The same couple have been on the bus at the same time as me, doing the exact same thing. Like, I don't understand there is a time and a place to do some things, and the bus is generally not a place to do anything other than sit, put your earphones in, and check Facebook, Instagram, social media. When you're on the bus, you want to be in your own world. You kind of don't want to draw any attention to yourself because you, and about 30 other people are encapsulated in a small space with no air conditioning or heating or hardly any windows or anything you kind of just want to keep to yourself get on get off as soon as possible but no build the scene a little bit there's a big bikey guy tattoos all over his head um you know that kind of gives you a kind of idea of who who we're dealing with here tattoos everywhere the big wife beater top on it's you know a white singlet um jeans black sunnies you know that you know the deal and you've got a you've got a wife she's deaf deaf like not that that is but she's you know and you've got a kid so yeah oi oh yeah 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 can you speak fucking english please yeah yeah look me wife's deaf me wife's deaf i just need to get through to the center link mate yeah yeah you, you want me email address yeah all right so it's 459 at gmail.com. You got me phone number, man. Can you speak f***ing English, please? Yeah, she's 04. She's 04. 04. Zero, zero you, want, you want me Medicare card? Speak f***ing English. Mate, my wife's deaf. She can't talk. She can't talk. Mate, she's f***ing deaf. I'm the only one that f***ing talk in his family, mate. <sighs> so, you know, with a bit of, with a bit of alteration, that happened on the bus. 30 people around, a big bikey guy, a wife, a small child in a pram, who was probably crying by that stage, trying to talk to Centrelink on the bus for his wife. He didn't know all the details. While trying to sign language to her, yelling on the phone to not being racist, but you know, an Asian counterpart of the Centrelink of the Australian government, with 30 people around listening to all of his personal details, his Medicare number, his phone number, his email address, name, wife's name, personally, I didn't take much notice of it. I just tried to put my earphones in, but you know, it's kind of hard when you've got someone screaming in your ear to not kind of take notice of it. So that's the, probably the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to me on the bus, but let's just keep moving down the list. If you're sitting on the bus with your earphones in, thank you. I'm so glad that you're not playing it out loud or, you know, you know, you're not trying to tell other people your bloody social security numbers, but please do be considerate at the volume you have it on. If I'm trying to sit next to you on the bus, I want to be listening to my music through my earphones without the interference from your music from your earphones, without having to turn my earphones right up to try and block out the noise from your earphones. I appreciate the fact that you're going deaf because of the music you listen to and the volume you have it at, but I don't want to be going deaf because of you going deaf because you're having it too loud and it ruins me, my listening experience on the bus trying to get home from work or school. Okay, thank you. If you're on the bus, please do not discuss the upcoming drug deal that you're about to do. By the way, please go out and find a new job. But please do not discuss the upcoming drug deal you have 
with 500 grams of methamphetamines whilst sitting next to a 10 year old kid and their grandma who were just trying to get to the market on a Sunday. Okay? Because I'm sure that grandma does not appreciate having to explain to a kid what a f***ing ice deal is. Okay? Thanks. Please wear deodorant. I realise some people, you know, have issues with that. You know, actually issues. But just please be considerate of others and try. If you're just not showering in the morning and not putting on deodorant, not only is it the people on the bus, it's the people in your class, in your workplace. Everyone can smell you. Please wear deodorant. It's a $5 investment to save a lot of people a lot of discomfort. Okay? Thanks. And last but not least, if you're a 19 year old who's on the bus because you don't have your license, get your license. There's a lot of positives to this. For one, your friends will stop picking on you. Two, you won't have to catch the bus. And three, you can go anywhere. The bus ain't gonna take you to get a Big Mac on a Sunday morning, buddy. Get your license. Stop being a lazy shit. Okay? Cool. <laughs> and yeah, guys, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, I hope you have. It's been a fun one for me to film, actually. This has been quite fun. I hope the first little sequence was good. Hope the rest of the video was good, too. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up. If you have any more ideas, um, of videos like this I could do little comedy sketches or anything I'm the funniest comedian you will ever meet so you know tell me some ideas and I'll make them happen for you guys and yeah don't forget to follow my social medias Instagram snapchat Twitter Facebook they're all in the description below and yeah go watch some of my old videos don't forget to, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video the tactic 10 time let's do this guys peace out Oh, it's me still. Huh.